for my mentor passed away about a year ago and uh, he was a wizard had thousands and thousands like 6000 clients he was the man of, of the of the of the area and he uh, taught me everything you know all of these tricks they, they don't teach you that stuff in these schools okay but i teach you that in my school i teach you like all the little tricks and things i do the things that honestly like the rapid voicer when jack and i published a rapid voicer he had shown other people how to do rapid voicing and i'm telling you he had shut down because so many technicians that were involved in the PTG and these other organizations were poo-pooing his idea. He was doing this making a lot of money very quickly voicing pianos down and and he was doing it and then he would tell other tuners like look what I figured out and they were like, oh, "I'm not doing that. That's dangerous." That's they would just I heard you shouldn't do that and all this stuff and he was just like, "I'm not telling anybody else anything." And he just kind of got like said forget it. So I said, "Jack, Listen, that I'm a young tech. I don't know what voicing. I don't know how to voice because nobody would tell me. Nobody would teach me how to voice. And I was frustrated. I was like, people ask me to voice their piano and I'm scared to death. Jack, what do I do? He's like, "Oh, do you just do this and do this?" And he started showing me and I'm like, "Oh, that that works. I'm a musician. I play the piano. My degree is in piano and, and voice. So I I understood like the piano sounds bright. How do I get it to be softer?" And Jack would say, "Well, do this and do this." Everybody else would just say well voicing is an art that learns over many years and done it you know why they say that here because they don't know what they're doing that's why they were saying that the whole time or because they don't want to tell you how to do it imagine if people in your local PTG chapter were to tell you all their secrets and how they're getting the piano to sound so dang good then they're worried that you're going to go steal their customers. I'm just telling you that's why. These 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 older tuners and these these sort of like established guys, they're not going to go tell you everything. And and that's what I was coming up with when I was younger. I was like, I can't figure out. I can't people aren't telling me this. I'm I'm trying to read this and it's all like, well, voicing is a thing that only certain people do. It's a very hard thing to hear and after many years of maybe you'll be able to forget it. So I said, "Jack, Tell me tell me how to voice, show me how to do it and he sat with me for a week and just I recorded him and he told me all of the secrets he was doing and he said this is what people should be doing and Jack was the president of the Master Piano Technicians Guild of America for like 15 years. He was highly known and 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 extremely good at what he does. So I took all of those sessions and typed them up and put all the things together. That's what the Rapid Voicer course is. And that course is included. It is an extra. It's just included in the mentorship in the APTM mentorship. All these videos teaching you how to voice. You will not learn this anywhere else. I don't know, but I took Randy Potter's course and I didn't learn this. I learned how to reshape hammers. And I learned how to do a few things like that, but I still came out going how do I do this? How do I make a piano softer? How do I make a piano brighter? I don't understand why the piano sounds like this. And trust me, if you want to be a full service tech, your clients are going to ask you those things. They're going to be like, "Hey, I want my piano voice." It just happened to me last week. It was a very nice Yamaha C3 and the lady said it's too bright. And I said, "Okay, fine." You know what? I didn't even charge her extra because it's not that hard. And because I charged her my full rate for that hour and I tuned and voiced the piano in about an hour and 10, 15 minutes. She was extremely happy. The piano did sound much better and I left. And she's gonna love me from now on because I did that for her. And it wasn't like, oh, well, it's gonna be this and that and blah de blah and $500 and jicky jack and that, you know, that's, that's what these people are doing and I'm against it. You know, I love the piano. I wanna, uh, pay the for pay forward what Jack taught me the rapid voice or course is included in here and the people who have tried it are like oh my gosh like this guy I placed the keyframe back in the piano took a deep breath and began to play you know why he did that because he was like worried like this piano is going to be ruined because everybody's like you got to do this I found myself saying oh my oh my the sweetness had returned to my piano without loss of power this is a piano technician that tried the rapid voicer. That's why in the front of this I said, "Are you willing to try it?" Cuz so many people will be like, oh, "I'm not doing that. That's not the technique way to do it." And they just act like they know everything. I don't pay attention to those people, and I teach you how to not pay attention to those people. I think that's what's different about Apex, and that's why it's called the Apex way. 